Welcome back ladies and welcome to all my first time listeners. Uh, today we're going to talk about postpartum tips and how to avoid the hot mess, hot mom mess syndrome. And I wanted to go through some tips. Um, so just a little bit about myself first. I'm a second time mom and on my maternity leave with my first daughter I did find I had um, like episodes of postnatal depression and I got terrible parental anxiety so I can talk about all the things that helped me through that and things you might implement to avoid any of that to prepare for that. So your bedroom is going to become your new oasis <laughs> let's say it's a great place you're going to spend your time so I would suggest beforehand set it up properly um, declutter and uh, where you, where's the baby going to sleep are you going to do co-sleeping are you going to do in a cot whatever way suits your family and your setup but also um, a great idea was uh, like your nightstand you <laughs> really have that prepared and ready to go like uh, your phone charger and your water bottle and your snacks and um, just everything uh, that you can reach um, so your nightstand will really become your best friend I'm talking about environment and your bedroom uh, you're going to spend loads of time in bed recovering so bed sheets have you thought about them maybe getting a new set like you could get silk if the baby's due in the summer or cotton linen something really fresh and cooling and um, preferably darker in color and just treat yourself to a new set of bed sheets <laughs> uh, it's a great tip just to feel a bit more pampered um, and then so another tip is um, what I found was really good was mindset so lowering your standards a little and your expectations as in just taking this time out to really uh, rest to prioritize your rest that that is your main duty at that time that if um, mommy's not well baby's not going to be well and the whole situation so don't rush back to normal uh, don't rush back to getting fully dressed, fully um, <coughs> prioritise your rest and you just you don't get this time back, it's so precious so treat it with the respect that it deserves um, like I stayed in my pyjamas and it's a real signal to people in the outside world as well or a family or friends, they mean well and they're calling by um, and it's great to have that support um, if you do but uh, even neighbours and stuff they call in or if you don't have people around you still just stay in you can get a nice set of fresh pyjamas that you still feel put together and I'm also going to recommend to throw on a bit of makeup or something like tinted moisturiser really lower your daily <laughs> little makeup routine um, but just still do something freshen up for the day um, like five minutes here five minutes there when the newborn phase those first kind of six weeks postpartum like the baby does you do get like hopefully um, a good uh, set of sleep time so yeah, really prioritise your rest and stay in your pyjamas so guests don't. Uh, when they call in, it's kind of subconscious, it's kind of like hint, hint, no, I'm resting. Um, it's, I'm not in like my day clothes. Even when like, if you're going out for a walk, just a lounge set. Don't go crazy back to normal. Um, yeah. The rest is the most important things at the moment and that's the mindset like also trying to keep up with the outside world with what's going on just try to drown all that out it's nice to have that break um, and like instead of meeting up for coffee or the brunch with friends like just lower those expectations like a video chat is gonna have to do or um, 
what I found was brilliant was voice note. Leave people voice message. It's a lot more personal than a text message. You can say a lot more. You can imply tone and yeah. Voice note would be like a voice message is going to be your, your best friend. Um, instead of um, meeting up with um, just park your social life for a while. Uh, but you can still have it and connect with people. It'll just have to be more digital while you're in bed with the baby. <laughs> um, and on to another point I wanted to say when you're minding your mindset is to be careful of social media. So in the postpartum period, I think you really get bombarded. Like a lot of social media um, accounts, uh, they're very kind of like, they glorify the hot moon mess like you don't have to partake in that that like oh you're gonna be so overwhelmed and frazzled no it could be a nice time as well i think if you're first time mom yeah you might feel like that because you just get so many opinions thrown at you and so many um different ideas and being told to do this way or that way and it's just because you haven't found your own rhythm yet um that and like you do want to learn from other people um, but you just have to find your way and what suits your family set up um, so yes be careful of certain social media accounts don't be afraid to unfollow a lot of them are man hating and um, man bashing and oh they're not helping and not pulling their part like it's um uh, yeah, try and get positive accounts or accounts that you find helpful and um, in control of your um, social media. And uh, then on to my other tip is definitely try and learn from um, older moms or uh, like when you join like a mother group is great or um, even online. Um, that if you're finding those groups helpful um, to learn from other parents how they do it. Like one thing I learned, for example, was um, that 30 second kind of sleep rule with newborns that, that babies go into a deep OEM sleep and that they may be um, crying and making noise. Um, but if you left them for literally a few seconds, just seconds, obviously use your common sense and your intuition that if they're in actual pain or uh, use your judgment on that one um, to basically if they're in a deep OEM sleep to just leave them a couple of seconds, just gauge it for a few seconds because they may um, like settle themselves and when your baby is awake again do spoil them with cuddles to form a healthy attachment. Your baby uses your nervous system to regulate themselves and control their emotions and learn how to express their feelings. Uh, try look up child psychology to understand all this. Um, there's some great new research out there. I read a couple of parenting books um, to really help my mindset that it helps uh, when the baby is a lot of work um, that you understand it's not forever and that um, the baby just needs you at the moment until they learn these things themselves and you can't cuddle and spoil a baby enough it forms a healthy attachment a healthy emotional attachment um, and for them later in life Yes, for, so for your food options, are you going to go with order and soak away food? Um, are you going with home cooked batch food? Are you going to put stuff in the freezer, freezer meals? Are you going to order things in like um, the companies where you get the ingredients delivered to your house? Uh, just have a little thought about that and plan that ahead of time. Um, home cooked meals are obviously best and the most comforting and the nicest um, then you'd also look at uh, what I found really good was to have um, I never thought I'd be uh, watching so much Netflix um, and people think you've all this time in the world 
uh, what it was more like when if you're breastfeeding or if you're even feeding with the bottle and you're sitting there to um, and the baby's all set up and feeding well for you then yeah maybe consider some um, books but obviously TV can be easier just mindless um, things but to, uh, to mindless shows to watch that don't require much mental capacity because baby brain is a real thing so maybe to have a few shows picked out on Netflix something uplifting a bit of comedy that's good to have um, but yeah to set yourself up put like a feeding pillow and a chair my like shoulders on my back got really um, sore and my poor posture really suffered so do um, like you're going to be doing a lot of feeding so uh, do see check your environment like how are you going to set that up um, another thing which I really didn't expect um, on either babies was the amount of like snacks that you want um, you get so hungry especially if you're breastfeeding uh, so snacks is a great thing to have so try look at some healthy options as well um, I took like you can take like postnatal vitamins for healing like feed your body body as well you can get like herbal supplements like arnica for healing your skin um, I'd recommend even a collagen supplement to rebuild fibers um, you can actually mix collagen into your coffee um, but it's one of the building blocks I think it's a protein but a building block for like repairing the skin um, all those things uh, your health food shop would know best then to make a plan for your community and um, so I had signed up for uh, like these music singing dance uh, classes for babies that was really helpful and you can meet other moms that way and have something in mind uh, one week is plenty to like get out of the house and socialize again and you just need to turn to the person the, the, um, beside you and recommend and ask like say would you like to grab a coffee after uh, some people are dying to ask and yes we're adults and it's like new people is kind of strange and um, you just have to assume that like they're in the same boat it's great if you're both first time moms um, it's trickier when you have two or more kids and you're trying to juggle school and different schedules so some parents they genuinely have to rush out off after the other classes um, yeah just to have a, a plan in place like if you've done prenatal uh, pilates or yoga like beforehand to continue maybe do some kind of other class after um, and then to check in with like if there's other friends or family or sometimes like somebody else's friend or friend of a friend or someone else's cousins on maternity leave as well that they could put you in touch so just think of the wider kind of community and maybe have uh, one or two kind of people in mind that you could meet up for um, yeah and one of the uh, person's tips was to take more photos than you think if you want. Um, a photo album is lovely um, and it's just so underrated but when the, the time goes so fast that afterwards that's the main thing you're left with is your lovely photos. So you put them on your phone but I think if you print them off put them in an actual album um, or ask for that as a gift afterwards it's just so sweet um, it's one of the best tips so you can never take enough pictures um, yeah try get some set up some kind of childcare um, I know one of the topics is like a lot of parents parents don't realize the parental anxiety like separation anxiety you might get you don't want somebody to take your baby unless like it's maybe your own mother or auntie or somebody really close your own sister um, so don't be nervous and saying I'm not ready for that it's actually a lot of women 
feel that if it's your first baby it's like you need the help but you don't want to um, there is parental separation anxiety is a real thing um, and it's kind of normal if you think about it, you've just had a baby they need to be with you but um, I think it's about learning how to ask for help how to ask for help that suits you so if you want to set you will need a break and you will need a little time away from the newborn baby for your own recovery like you might need to go for appointments or um, just even go for a walk for yourself um, or physio sessions if your back is sore things like that so yeah think of some kind of childcare options and don't be worried if you do experience that kind of um, anxiety it's more common than you think I've asked a lot of friends and they feel it too so you can always suggest no I just need to can you sit with the baby downstairs and I'll go up and have a shower like I think if you ask in the right way you will get that type of support um, <laughs> So ladies, I hope you found that. So ladies, let me know in the comments below if you agree with some of these tips, if you found anything else that really helped you. Um, I think a lot of it is mindset and embracing and slowing down and just really taking in and prioritizing your rest and shifting your mindset about that and asking for help and setting yourself up and prioritizing you the man first because then everything else will function and you can't pour from an empty cup so um i hope you i wish you all the best in your postnatal recovery and <laughs> i hope you find these tips useful um, let me know if you like this type of content and I can do more um, and let me know if you have any specific questions uh, thank you for listening <laughs>